big platforms of ice we call ice flows. And their food is underneath the ice. Uh, they hang out on the ice and they uh, sit there and when they're hungry they jump in the water, get their food and then get back on the ice and just ride around with the winds and the currents. In the springtime they come ashore here and they build their nests out of rocks and they lay their eggs and they'll raise their chicks. Now I've got a pair over here that are going to trade play there. They're going to do it right now. Oh you my gosh, eggs. watch guys. And they've traded places. Up. They're trading places. <laughs> so that's a mated pair. And the dirty one has been sitting here for quite some time. And they're going to go back to the ocean and get food. And the clean one just came off the ocean. And they've traded place on that nest. And do you know which penguins those are? <laughs> Do you know which ones they are by name? I'm sorry, say again? Do you know their names? Which penguins? We're following the nests. Are these by chance any of them that are in the nests that we're following? No, these are not. These are not the ones on my website. I can't get to because they're too far away and I'm oh, okay. down to my internet here. Okay. So the only ones... Uh, I'm in a different place, plus I'm trying to stay out of the wind. It's very windy today, and this place, you know, um, but I've got a lot of pictures here, so, so at least there's that. And um, a lot of guys coming up. I, I don't know why I'm so popular this morning. This other <laughs> guy, he wants to say hi. So, oh, uh, say hi. When you work with wild animals, as long as you sit still and you don't move and you don't reach out to them, many of them will come up to you. Now, these guys are not my pets. We don't feed them. We don't play with them. I don't hold them. I certainly don't um, take care of them. If they get hurt, it's totally against all the rules. I'm here as an observer only. But if I just sit quietly, they will come up to me, which is why I enjoy my job so much. All I have to do is be quiet and not try to touch them. <laughs> so anyway, they're out there in that ocean getting food, and then they get back, and they come here, and we have our first chicks that are hatching uh, right oh now. Gosh. And then this uh, colony will be full of new life in a few days. So we're very excited. We had the first chick hatch yesterday. Oh, my gosh. And uh, then they'll start to more and more. These guys, uh, if you look around me here, You'll notice that there is absolutely nothing green. There are no trees, no bushes, no plants, no grass. There is nothing that grows here. Absolutely nothing. So the only thing that they can build their nests out of are these little rocks here. That is it. And there's not very much snow right here. And most of Antarctica is covered with a lot of snow and ice. But this place, Cape Royce, happens to be one of the places where there isn't very much snow or ice. That's why the penguins are here. And since they're here, that's why I'm here. Well, oh, these guys are just all over the place this morning. I'm glad you're able to see this. So they're we are most too. Of the most beautiful animals in the whole world. They're highly adapted to being here. They can survive much better than I can. Oh my gosh, I've got yes. all this clothing on and all my technology, and they're still able to survive much better than I am. That's and incredible. I love to see about my boots. They particularly like my shoelaces for some reason. I'm just going to keep the camera on here. Nicole. And we'll watch and see what they do. So my job here and with my research team is to send her a text monitor message. this colony. Text her. Do the numbers go up? Do we get lots of new birds every year? Are the numbers going down? Are the chicks doing better this year than last year? What do they eat? Where do they go? How many dives does it take to get their food? These are the questions that we ask, and we put devices on them to answer those questions. We tag some of these birds with a band around their wings so we can follow their lives. A lot of what we do is find those birds with those bands on them and see what they're doing. How long does it take before they come back and breed? Well, about four or five years. Do they come back to the same place to breed every year? No, they don't. Do they have the same mate? No, they don't do that either. Do they even breed every year? No, they don't. So we've been able to listening. learn a lot about them through the banding program. And also the track. Oh, wow, look at some of them right here too. Everybody wants to say hi to you. 
Uh, here's another little guy. Now this guy's really clean, so he just came off of the ocean, and he just wants to hide. About how tall is he? About how tall is he? Now I never, this is quite amazing, never had three birds right around me like this all the time. So this is amazing. I'm glad you're able to see them. Oh my gosh. They can hide. smile. They can hear your voice. Guys, talk to him there. Smile, because they... She can see you. So. I can hear your voice. He's responding to you. But there, as long as I do not try to touch them, uh, they might hang out here. Other than that, they're probably going to get bored and move along. So, 